Greetings and salutations, YouTube Wanderer. The Lost One Gaming here, and welcome back to Airport CEO and Lost International, where we are still trying to do our expansion on the other side uh, and build up our second tech, I guess our second uh, wing and our second runway part of the uh, airport. Because, you know, we've kind of outgrown things over here, and we're still trying to improve and, and become a bigger airport that is more well known and not just limited to small flights and a couple big flights. Alright, uh, SL717 is running late. Nope, we're not doing that. I still hate the whole transport system sometimes where they just sit here and block off traffic like this. I don't understand why the bus couldn't have just turned around and gone here rather than being sitting here and waiting and holding up traffic. There's a car here that's trying to just... All it wants to do is drop someone off and, and go home. Like, you're making these people late. This is why I have so many holdups. Where the freak did this bus just come from outside of this bus? Why is this, why'd the car just drive through? Okay, I'm not even going to question it. <laughs> I'm going to pretend like I didn't see it. going to pretend like it didn't happen at all. <laughs> Let's see, the runway is kind of degraded at this point. We need to go ahead and fix that. Uh, go ahead and spend $5,000 there. I think we have pretty much finished this area over here in terms of the actual uh, foundation. But we, I made this super huge now that I think about it. Good lord, that is massive in comparison to these. Oh my god, why did I make that so big? I could probably cut this in half at this point and still use it. But we'll go ahead and just place the items instead. Uh, let's see. We need... I gotta zone this off too, don't I? I've almost forgotten how to do zones at this point because I haven't done it in a minute. Let's see. We need to have this be a secure zone. Uh, all this stuff in between here. Like I said, I think we could cut this almost in half and just use this space and then the rest of this could be, you know shop area or whatever or just like the main hall or whatever at this point so let's see uh let's check in desk needs to be can be on the outside so we'll just place that uh let me see if i can rotate it oh i've how have i forgotten how to do all this rotate there we go let me make sure that's facing in the direction i want it to they're supposed to be coming down this way yes okay that's good so we'll put it right there and put another one right there so we can have two of them there you go, one on either side, and then we'll have our security checkpoint. Oh, uh, let's do a small one, because I don't really... Uh, I do have the money for a medium one. Uh, enables people to enter secure zone. I thought it was going to say something different rather than the other one. Uh, we'll just keep the one, I think, at this point. I don't think I really need to do the big one. Is this the way that I need this to go? It looks weird. I don't know why it looks funny to me for some reason. I don't know, it looks a little bit different, but I guess this is the way. I guess uh, I could start up a queue or something. Maybe I could put it on the edge and then start a queue, like, going down this way. I never really used the cure system, or the queue si cure system, the queue system uh, much at all. I guess I'll place it right there. That's probably why it looked funny to me, because I had it, like, halfway out, and it was in a weird spot. So there we go. Go ahead and do that. Nope, I don't need to change the color. It can stay. Uh, that looks off-center, doesn't it? Doesn't it? That looks weird. Eh, maybe it's the same spot. I don't know. I guess I can unpause now. You guys get to work there. Get that stuff done. I, oh, wait. I need also a, uh, what is it? A boarding desk as well. Uh, and I need a secure exit uh, for this. So let's see. We'll put... Oh, my God. Why did I make this so massive? This could literally have been... Well, it did need to be this wide. Well, it didn't need to be. But I guess I kind of made it this wide just so I can have it uh, completely cover the actual runway itself. Not the runway. The, uh, the stand part itself. So that that's a part of the reason why I did that, but this is just huge and unnecessary. It's a waste of space at this point. <laughs> I could almost put like a little mini shop in this whole freaking thing here. <laughs> oh goodness, I could put seating in here or something like if I wanted to. Actually, I can do that rather than having the seating out there. I could actually have it in here so people could wait if they wanted to and come in early rather than having to go back out. That probably would make more sense to be honest. <laughs> well, eh, we may try it put like a couple seats in here but to be honest the people in this game they don't come that early they're here like maybe an hour before and they just kind of stand up well let's provide them with some seating since i can do it we will go ahead and just put some seats uh through here go ahead and put like maybe that should do don't think we'll need that much more than that uh and can we put some trash cans in here too just so we make sure no one's littering all over the freaking area here uh there we go and last but not least, like I said, oh, what did I place one accidentally outside somewhere? I heard like another one. Maybe it was just a delayed one. All right, let's go ahead and put the boarding desk in. Uh, we'll go ahead and put that 
right here and we'll go ahead and should we have two we'll go ahead and make a second one just just in case we need it all right I kind of have two of everything I have two uh, check-in desks two boarding desks two security points uh, I still need to do the actual close off here uh, in terms of the in terms of the wall uh, let's see structures walls here we go we'll go ahead and put the wall hmm I guess I could use this for queue space if I need to, uh, rather than having it completely closed off, uh, like I was saying. So, let's do that. That's probably a good spot for it. Uh, that'll be good. Next, we'll have to work on another, well, we'll have to work on the continuation of everything else down this way. I'm trying to think about, like I said, I think I'm going to have the road come around here, and this is going to be the edge here. Um, I'm trying to see, I may have to... So I may shrink this and then use part of this as like the main corridor. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Like have it like about this, about this much space right there, and then the rest it's gonna go back a little bit further, and then that's gonna become like shop area and all this other stuff. I mean, this may be big enough for a shop area. I'm not exactly sure though. Uh, and then we'll have like a little uh, entrance way in here somewhere, <laughs> somewhere. I don't exactly know where at the moment. I uh, will probably build up another one of these too. Uh, probably have, like I said, this was mainly meant to be the, uh, the big area the, for the big planes. So this is the, the, the medium size or large size winged area. Uh, no delays. Are we paused still? I was about to say, because I didn't see anybody working at all. This guy was still kind of just over here. Uh, what does it say? Oh, these trash cans, apparently. The trash cans are in the way? They can't get to the, what do you mean you can't get to the trash cans? What are you talking about? Can they not get out of here? At this point, are they stuck there? Is that why they're not? I've seen. I was about to say. I've seen these guys walk through goddamn walls. I, <laughs> you can't tell me that they're stuck at this point. You, you can't tell me that. Although I do need to put some doors in here, by the way, too. Uh, <laughs> that is is a thing. Uh, so we'll put a door there. Uh, we'll put a door leading right in front of the check-in desk, I guess. And we'll put one there as well. All right. Uh, okay. Position. There we go. And. Uh, we'll just keep that there. Uh, they can figure out that later. What? What was? What's with these delayed reactions and things here, guys? What's going on? I'll go ahead and put in a door on this side just for them for right now, uh, so they can actually get out. <laughs> I like. So I think they can just go through whatever anyway. Uh, oh, never mind. No, they're now all leaving. <laughs> I trapped them all in there and didn't realize it. Uh, let's see if I can go ahead and fix these trash cans though. This one seems to be fine, but it says that this one, I guess I could just move these uh, a little bit. No, no delays. Because uh, I don't know why it's causing issues for some reason. Is it that, okay, now that one's okay. This one's now got a symbol around it. All the boarding desks are okay, okay now, but I don't know. I feel like sometimes that system is just finicky and it does what it wants, and I can't really do anything about it. I am going to move the trash can over one spot, though just in case they couldn't actually get to it so now I don't see any little red you know symbol icon saying we can't get there 201,000 the stand these stands themselves cost about what 120 was it 120 or 150 I always forget the prices on these uh, infrastructure aircraft stand uh, 150 so I could put up another one right next to this one I know you guys are kind of you guys have been kind of on constant standby in terms of the work lately but we're trying to get this going as fast as we can uh, cause I need the extra, well, I don't need the extra money, to be honest. The airport itself is already sustained at this point, uh, from, for now until the near future. So, <laughs> we're okay. I do have to remember that I have to build a freaking uh, another cargo bay, cause I definitely don't want to have all this stuff together. I was gonna say I may do a whole nother, uh, vehicle depot and fuel station for this second wing over here. That way all this stuff isn't being used together. We don't have a strain of uh, supplies or having to uh, send everything all the way around. I may put it right here just to make it a little bit closer than uh, another fuel station and vehicle depot. Because we have used up most of this. So uh, so I feel like we may need a second one. Just And that way I don't have to actually upgrade this one. Because I know you can if I'm not mistaken. You could put like a another tank or something on the outside of it just to increase the capacity. But I don't feel the need to do that right now. Uh, so let's see. Infrastructure aircraft stand will do. There we go. Just, oh, that's not facing the right direction. Now it is. There you go. Have fun building that. We're now down, we're going to be down to about $50,000. Let's see. How are we looking in terms of our, uh, what's going on down here? 
Oh, I saw like the little thing, and I thought it was it was actually the flight planner thing. Have we got? I was just about to say our general aviation. Yeah, we we built a stand over here for this, and we we barely use it now as it is. <laughs> we barely use it now. It's just kind of over there. Uh, but that's supposed to be our general aviation stand. It's supposed to bring in a little bit of extra money. Uh, let's see. Still got flights planned Sunday. It's gonna get pretty busy again, but stand four is relatively empty. I still haven't named that one yet. I don't know why I haven't named that one. I didn't. Let's see. Oh, I guess because I was meaning to sign. I was meaning to sign another con. Did they change this? This is Adam Air. Oh yeah. <coughs> Sorry. Adam Air was like the nuclear one. <laughs> the nuclear part one that I said was the absolute stupidest idea that I've ever heard for a plane. Uh, this freaking thing crashes like a goddamn nuclear bomb just went off. Um, but it's, I think it said they never really got to do it, which I was like, thank God for that. So they have, they have actually offered me a flight, but I can't really schedule it anywhere. I mean, I could schedule it at the other, uh, area over there, but at this point, I mean, Tuesday, I was trying to see if I could probably schedule it with the Crown Air one or the Olympus. The Olympus Air one is pretty empty on Monday, so we may be able to do that instead. It's only a one-time flight, so yeah, we'll go ahead and do that and see if they like us. You know, we got to earn their trust. Uh, we still have kind of been making our way there with Havana and all these other ones. Actually, I still need to plan some of these, don't I? Uh, definitely could. We've planned one for tomorrow, Sunday, uh, and I have not planned another one. So let's see. Monday, we could go ahead and have a recurring flight. I'll go ahead and just station it with the uh, with the Crown Air one. Uh, towards the end of the day, I uh, will go ahead and have another one scheduled on the Olympus Air one right after the Atom Air flight. There we go. And I'll go ahead and do a one time flight somewhere in between here as well. All right. And let's see, Tuesday, that's now going to be, there's going to be recurring flights scheduled now for that. Uh, mm, okay, we can go ahead and do, let's see, we'll do this one uh, three time, and that should be good. That's probably all I'm going to be able to do there. Like I said, I need to sign another small contract to do for these other stands that I have. Because I have a Skylink, I have a Goosewings, and I have Forest Air. So all these other ones are just kind of extra at this point. Uh, and they're just kind of there. So I think I was meaning to sign a contract with CLM or someone. <laughs> or someone. How many? Hold on. The contracts. I was going to see how many I've signed. I've signed on Skylink, Goosewings, Havana, Atom Air, Forest Air. Yeah, I need another one. Uh, so let's see what I can do here. Offered contracts. We got Brickley, Wildcat Air, Tulip Airlines. Oh, Brickley's contract. Never mind. That's a contractor's thing. Uh, Air Strata. The thing about it is I can't... When I think when I took Adam Air, I was thinking Adam Air was going to be small time. Yeah, but it turned out to actually be a big one. Because uh, I was thinking Adam like is a small thing, but they actually have big planes. So it's like that doesn't really fit. Uh, in terms of name, but I guess it was more so Adam because they were doing nuclear or whatever the frick. So, <laughs> I guess that's why. I know Maple was always a small one, if I'm not mistaken. So, we can do Maple. I Okay, let's try Maple. Alright, I want to see what they offer me. They pro I don't know if they offer me that much. Hourly balance of 1900 2007 uh, So far, hourly expenses $2,694. I've never really taken too much of a uh, time to look at all this. We have aircraft parking fees? Who the frick parked here long enough to even pay those? <laughs> Who parked here for that? Landing fees? Yeah, we got plenty of landing fees. Passenger handling fees? Yeah, we don't, and we don't charge for bathrooms, so yeah, that's good. Uh, ramp agent salary is 251. Executive salary is 176. I don't have any mechanics, apparently. Why do I not have mechanics? I didn't know mechanics was an actual employee. I know we had, like, service technicians, but are there actual mechanics now? I, no, I don't see an actual mechanic. It's still service technicians, right? Which we have three of. So maybe they're going to add mechanics soon, I guess. Because I still don't... Yeah, I still don't see it as a specific person. So maybe I have to assign them to be a mechanic? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not going to I'm not gonna try and pretend to understand again. Uh, it's not, not worth my time at this point. Are we still building over here? Goodness gracious. You mean tell me we haven't finished this off yet? At all. <laughs> we still got this stand over here that needs to be built. Guys, come on. Why are you guys all still sitting over here? There's like one box. It doesn't take all of you to, to work over there. Goodness gracious. Come do something else. Or had the supplies not made it here yet. That's a possibility. 
They have not, so I can understand now. There's only one guy sitting down here. There's two guys down here waiting on the supplies just to radio over to everybody else. Hey, guys, the supplies are actually here. Goodness gracious, look at the amount of people that are in baggage claim right now. Some of these guys are just kind of standing around. I don't know what they're actually doing. Uh, what are you doing? Oh, you're, you had a second bag? How many people have second bags? Well, I guess you do have a carry-on. This person has like three bags. Goodness gracious, I, where, where are you going? <laughs> you have a backpack and then you have two other bags. Good lord. You must, be going on a you must have been going on a long trip or something. My goodness. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and speed up some. Uh, till, let's see. Flight plan is going well. I'm trying to wait until it get until tomorrow. Oh, I was going to say, yeah, have we been offering any flights from Maple? Yes, that's what I needed to see. Uh, no, no delays. Sunday, let's go ahead and start planning. Uh, we should have a plenty of room for Maple. I may turn stand four into the Maple only. Actually, they gave, they've only given us one. And it was literally a, a, a recurring flight for seven days. I thought we were actually going to get seven different offers for a moment. But nope. Nope. They... they trusted us, I guess, with a recurring flight. I don't know why they would do that. I mean, I guess maybe my reputation at this point precedes me. <laughs> maybe. Possibly. All these stands are now getting about 50%, so I'm going to go ahead and start repairing them. Uh, go ahead and repair that one as well. Repair this one. Repair that one. I think these should still be okay, but now I think I do see some cracks and things starting to form over there. Probably best to go ahead and repair those as well at the moment. Well, they're down to 79 this one's at 47, so I do need to repair that one, actually. So there you go. Everything's nice and nice and clean and looking nice. Looking very good. So we go, we went ahead and finished this stand. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, start the actual foundation of the terminal over here now, since I can. Uh, we'll go ahead and make it... I guess we'll go ahead and just make it the same size, even though I was complaining about how much space I was using over here. Uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and do that. Like I said, we, we, can, we can use this as the corridor. I kind of did need some of this space. It's just, it looks so empty in between, though. That's the thing. It looks very empty in here. Uh, but, and that seating, actually, now, I didn't use double row seating. I don't know why I didn't do that. I may, I actually need to get rid of these now, because that's not, that's definitely not going to be enough. I thought I was using double row, but this is actually just small seating. This would be more so for, like, uh, what's it called? The little, it's, well, small gate seating, so more like the other stands that we have, the smaller ones. That'd probably be best for those. I didn't realize the fact that I had put that in there like that. I thought I just picked out the good chairs, but I didn't. So let's see if I can find the good chairs this time. Gate seating, yeah, here we go. This is what I want, a double row seating. This is the best. All right, no, no delays. All right, leave it be. How many people does it take to dismantle these chairs? Thank you. All right, gate seating, double row. I can't actually put it there because I haven't finished demolishing the other set yet. Unless I want to put them on the outside, which I don't really want to do. There we go. That works there. Alright, and just go ahead and finish that one off. I may put up another row. Uh, or I may just leave it. We'll see. Like I said, I don't really think people are going to use this anyway. They may. They may not. Uh, so, I, they left this guy all by himself. <laughs> oh, actually, these guys are still over here for some reason. I think they literally can't get out now. I don't understand why they would all go in there and trap themselves in there rather than like literally going and putting in a door or something or like leaving one hole open and then fixing it from the other side. Why are my contractors so stupid? Don't understand that. See, now I'm going to have to put a door over there even though there's really nothing over there at all or put a hole in the wall, which I don't really want to have to do either. So there you go. Now that I did that, look, all of them are starting to stream out. <laughs> Because now there's an opening, which technically they didn't even make the opening. They just it just randomly appeared. All right, so uh, they got to get over here, uh, which they should be able to do that. All right, they can just walk around for this. There's no no other. Well, actually, they may need a they may I may need to put a hole over here in this wall so they can get to that too. So that way they don't all get stuck again. There you go. Because this is gonna connect in here anyway, so I guess I may as well just do that. So. Alright, uh, our general aviation flight is actually still here for 15 hours. How much money are we getting? Uh, we're supposed to be getting like a certain amount of money per hour, if I'm not mistaken. I couldn't see what that was. I saw the thing, the cash signal. I think it was like, was it 15? I'm, I'm watching for it again, and I don't... 25, okay, $25 an hour is what we get for general aviation. Are we actually able to change those fees? I'm pretty sure, to be honest, the fees that you charge, it seems like... Uh, no one like would like it if you charge more 
it seems like it's right in the middle right off the bat so it's like you could get cheaper if you wanted to you could get more expensive I also apparently don't have a CFO I kind of forgot about that it's not exactly necessary you know I think I said I think pretty much everything is decent right off the bat so there's really no point so at $55,000 we'll get another 12,000 I guess at the end of the hour there we go all right but I'm gonna end it here guys and I will see you in the next one